Hey everybody, happy Friday. As you can hear from my voice, it has been a week. <laughs> it has been one of those weeks. I hope you've had a better week than we have here at our house. Um, it is time for Facebook Friday, I think. <laughs> if my head is on straight, I don't know. Um, welcome, let's see if I'm in the right place. Yes, all right, let me share this over. <sighs> Wow. All right. So this week, make sure I'm in the right place. One, two, two, two. Okay. Um, this week we are going to do three projects with, where is it? The Awesome Otters. This is a celebration stamp set from the <laughs> Celebration Catalog. It is free. That's the only way you can get it is for free when you spend $50. Um, and I'm going to show you lots of prod products today. I actually have pulled in lots of dies and a few stamp sets to go along with this guy. Um, I mean, getting to $50 really is easy, right? <laughs> I'm going to give you some ideas. Um, I lost my train of thought what I was going to say. Oh, I know. You guys might recognize these guys um, last year. Was it last year or was it year before? I think maybe it was the year before. We had a Valentine's stamp set that had like a gorilla, an alligator, and an otter. And it looked very similar to this guy. And so I think Stampin' Up! loved that guy so much, they gave him his own stamp set. So anyway, you guys know I love the black line images so we can color with Stampin' Blends. Um, and that's what we're going to do today. All right, I have a few things to share with you. Let me just run through them. First off, first of all, um, I have about three or four paper pumpkins left over. These are the um, lots of pun paper pumpkins. So if you would like one, please email me. Um, don't comment here. I will. I will not see it. Um, and Facebook message isn't isn't even that great because sometimes I don't see that. So email me if you would like one of these. They are um, $25 shipped to you. They're ready to go. Um, speaking of paper pumpkin, the new paper pumpkin for this month was delayed. I, I posted that earlier this week. Um, however, Stampin' Up! announced today they are in the warehouse they are ready to go they are billing everybody and they're getting them out um the other thing the other component of that is that this month there is an add-on kit for the paper pumpkin it looks like this they're little boxes if you like to give out treats um so if you are a subscriber you can order these um i'm gonna flip the camera around and show you guys um, where to find them in the online store. But let me, I have to show you this right before I turn it around. I mean, before I flip the camera. Look what I, oh, it's, it's backwards. If I try to mess with it, then it's not gonna. Anyway, thanks, Kasia. She sent me this adorable rainbow this week. What a fun surprise to get in the mail. Believe me, I needed some fun surprises this week. Isn't that cute? It's from Amazon. And it came with all these letters and all these little icons. How fun is that? I just, that was such a surprise. Thank you, Kazia. That was really, really sweet of you. Um, I thought you guys would like to see that since we did all the um, rainbow things last week. All right, let me flip you back around and tell you about this paper pumpkin add-on kit. And then I'm going to show you that stuff right there. Hold on just a second. Whoops. Let's see if I can get you guys situated in the right place. Place. All right. Um, let me show you um, the Stampin' Up! store. Let's see. Let me, I don't know what I have on here. Okay. So if you are a Paper Pumpkin subscriber already, you, you can buy an add-on kit. If you're not a subscriber, you can't buy the add-on kit. I'm sorry. It's only available to subscribers. But when you go to the, the Stampin' Up! store like you're going to put in an order you would um well, this seems really like delayed today there we go shop products oh, come on let's see what's happening shop products and then um kits right here it says paper pumpkin and it should be in here let's see i just did shop all um let's see coordinate refills past kits and more let's see if it's in there Yep, there it is, right there. Kisses and hugs, mini treat boxes. 
ten dollars um i don't even know how many do we get 20 wow so they're 50 cents each they're right there they're ten dollars so if you need the item number it's one six zero one four seven you know i haven't looked at the paper pumpkin stuff in a while on here look what's on here wow there's quite a bit i love those little guys um so the the one of the benefits of being an actual subscriber is that you get to buy refill kits, buy old kits, buy add-ons, um, and you can only do that if you are a subscriber. Now, I wanted to show you this. These are prepaid subscriptions. Um, Paper Pumpkin, uh, you can pay monthly, or you can buy a prepaid subscription. So like, um, if you were to buy a 12-month subscription, it would be $220. You're gonna get four celebration items with that, as well as stamp and rewards, which is, I believe, $22 in extra free product. Um, there's also a six month option and a three month option. The three month option is 63, you'd get one celebration item. So um, if you've been thinking about subscribing or giving this as a gift to somebody, this is a fun way to do it. You pay it all up front. Um, they send you an email then uh, with an activation code and you activate it and it comes every month. It's really fun. So that is that. Are you guys still there? Because over here on my, it's like really delayed. Let's see. Let me close that and see where we are. Hmm. All right. All right. All right. There. Now it's caught up. Okay. Wow. That was weird. I was seeing like stuff I did five minutes ago. Okay. So I just wanted to tell you that. So I have a few of December's kits. January kits are shipping. I will have a few of those. Um, if you are not a subscriber already, um, or if something happens, sometimes somebody will email me and say, my payment didn't go through. I'm not getting the kit, something like that. Um, that's why I get extra kits in case that happens or you need one. Um, and the add-on. Okay. So that is that. There's that. You can, you order the add-ons as just a regular <coughs> Stampin' Up order. Okay. Class to go right now. The Sweet Conversations class to go. January 18th. What day is that next week? Oh, wow. That is Tuesday. So this is the last time I'm going to tell you about the Valentine's class. All right. Um, seven projects, two cards, five 3D. Um, you can get it with the bundle, without the bundle. It comes with a bolt of ribbon, a pack of rhinestones, um, I believe a quarter pack of designer series paper. I can't remember if it's a quarter. I think it is. Um, and then, of course, seven treat make and take projects for you to do at home. There's not an online class. Um, as soon as it arrives, you can start. I mail you, I email you a PDF of directions and step by step with photos, and um, that way you can put them together yourself. Okay. So, deadline is Tuesday. Make sure that you. Um, Make sure that you get that link. You'll have to email me for that link. I can only send it out in emails. Yeah, so you guys, <laughs> um, yeah, COVID made its way through our house this week. I am now, I actually got sick last Friday after Facebook Live. Good thing that you can't catch it through Facebook Live, right? <laughs> yeah, um, I started feeling kind of sick. Luckily for me, it was a cold, really, truly Honestly, nothing more than a cold. Um, my middle daughter had had a cold last week, and we tested her twice. Both times she was negative. She never ran a fever. It was just a cold, right? So we didn't think anything about it. And so then Friday when I started feeling sick, you know, right now finding tests is really hard. Finding tests are really hard. So we kind of sat on it for a few days, and I finally got a test on Monday. Um, <laughs> and ding, 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 winner. And nobody else got sick until yesterday. And now I've got my husband and my older daughter are sick. My youngest, knock on wood, nothing, nothing. So I'm sure many of you out there had the same week <laughs> as me. It was a, a little frightening at first, right? But again, it was just a cold. It's really not, it's been very minor for us. Thank God. Um, we have been very blessed. Um, that it's just been very minor. Um, husband, and oldest daughter, both ran a fever. Uh, my older daughter seems to be having the hardest time with it. She's had a pretty, pretty, uh, high fever. Um, my kids never get sick. So that's kind of, it's weird. Um, I can't even remember the last time they had fever. So anyway, all that to tell you, that's why I sound like a trucker or something. <laughs> I feel 100%. I'm fine. I'm out of my five days. Woohoo. Um, so 
Anyway, that's why I sound like that. Okay, moving on. Um, this month's all-star tutorial bundle is sweet the sweet talk, which is the same as that class to go, different projects. Um, there are 12 video tutorials in this PDF. I obviously haven't mailed them out this week. This week has been cuckoo. Um, I will put this by my computer and send them out this evening. If you put in a $50 order with me, you get this for free. I email it to you. You can also buy it in my PDF store for $15. And just in January, <coughs> sorry, just in January, um, you can also subscribe. And when you subscribe to the All Star Tutorial Bundle, you get the six month for free. Now, if you are a customer of mine and you put in orders and I send this to you for free, the subscription is not for you because you're getting it for free. The subscription is for those of you, you may be a demonstrator already. Um, you may be a customer who already has a demonstrator, so you don't want to order, you know, stamp it up for me. I totally get that. Um, so that's why we have the subscription. So when you subscribe, it's $15 a month, six months for free. You can subscribe monthly. Um, you can subscribe and pay all up front. Either way, I email them the first of the month, uh, like clockwork. I don't miss, I don't ever miss that. So, um, <coughs> sorry, goodness. I haven't been coughing today until now, I guess, cause I'm talking. Um, anyhow, that is that. This is my project this month. Uh, most of the time there are cards. I always try to do a 3D so that we have at least one 3D in the PDF. Um, but most of them are cards with techniques and stuff. And if you would like the details on that, um, you can click the link on the bottom of today's blog. Uh, it'll take you back to that post. And um, the subscription links are there. It also tells you what suites we're doing for the next six months. Okay? All right. I, you guys are have, you're telling me all kinds of things. Um, yeah, I know. COVID, you guys, is everywhere and that i think the scary part for me right now is that it just felt like a cold it didn't feel like covid so it felt you know like i was i cooked dinner for my family last weekend we hung out i didn't honestly my daughter had been sick tested negative twice so we thought it was just a cold um so if you're feeling at all like you have a cold consider it covid i don't know why my older my middle daughter tested negative we think maybe it was the test that we had um we had ordered them a long time ago and just had them on hand um maybe they didn't i don't know maybe they didn't pick up this new variant it was very strange but she obviously had it i mean it's obvious that that's where i got it because the uh my daughter's boyfriend got it too <laughs> we had all had dinner together that sunday night so <clears throat> okay anyway enough of that i know i know um Club Create. You guys, I love you all. You're so good to me. I have so many subscribers to Club Create right now that I'm getting ready to turn off subscriptions because it is a lot. Um, it takes me um, a full week really to get these cut, sorted, packed. Um, and I want to make sure that I do a good job and I don't want it to get so big that I'm not doing a good job. So I'm probably going to leave subscriptions for this open maybe, um, for a couple more days and then I'll probably shut it off, um, for a while. Um, because I really think we've kind of reached capacity. Um, next month's club create subscription is open. It is the tulip fields bundle, which I, I just love. I, you know, I, I designed the projects before I really saw anything online. There wasn't a whole lot online. But now as I'm seeing people get their products and start to make projects, there is some amazing things out there. Um, the Tulip Fields Coordinating Bundle, I use the sentiments on that for the cards. So you can use any sentiments you want. Club Create is $39 a month and includes about $20 in brand new product, five projects, video, PDF, and shipping. Um, so if you're interested in that, that link is at the very top of my blog. It says Club Create. Click on that tab. It'll open up the window and the, you can subscribe through PayPal or your credit card. And um, you can cancel anytime. There's no commitment. But if you stay for six months, you get a product credit. You get to pick out $25 in product to be shipped with your kit. Okay. <coughs> that is that. Um, I hope I don't cough through this today. That's going to not be fun for you guys. All right, I want to show you guys this. I hesitate to show you this because it's not available yet. 
Um, this is something I'm very excited about. Look at these. We have this whole new collection of products that are coming out next month. Um, and they are the Skin Tone, which we have needed for a very long time. Skin Tone um, Stampin' Blends. Um, they will be coming out uh, February. What is it, guys? Is it first February? Anyway, in beginning of February for everybody. Um, but I wanted to give you a heads up so that you know. Also, I wanted to tell you that you, if you um, are thinking about buying the starter kit, this is something you can add to your starter kit. So if you really want these right now, you can add these to your starter kit. $99, pick out $125 in product, plus two extra stamp sets. So this could be something that you get in your starter kit. The details on that starter kit are right here in the back of the celebration catalog. Um, there are all kinds of benefits uh, for buying the starter kit. Not only are you getting about $75 in free product and free shipping, you're also gonna get a discount on your orders, or you can make 20% off of uh, orders that other people put in with you, friends, whatever. Um, so it's a really good deal. I've told you guys, it's a fabulous deal. You get all my PDFs for free if you're on my team. You get my classes at a discount. Um, anyway, if so that's why I'm showing you these now because I hate to show you guys something and then be like, oh, sorry, you can't order it. Right now you can order it in a starter kit. You'll be also be able to... Um... <laughs> oh, you guys, I feel fine. My voice... My voice sounds ridiculous. I truly feel 100%. I do. I feel fine. Um, I did not want to cancel. for No, for sure. Y'all are sweet, though. Thank you. Um, along with this, coming out next month, is this really fun bundle. Look at this. So you can practice with your skin tone blends. I also think today while we're coloring the otters that these would be good otter colors too. <laughs> um, anyway, this bundle, these will be in the annual catalog next May. This stuff will not, all right? So there will be this bundle available, stamps and dies, and then this pack of paper, which is amazing. Look, black and white, all black and white. Some, you know, like hands and arms and stuff so you can use your blends, but then others, oh my gosh, you know I'm gonna use the heck out of these. Oh, look at that one, I love that polka dot. Stripes, no gingham. That's okay. Well, I guess maybe you could call that gingham, um, but super cute. So anyway, that will be coming. I'm going to probably do the first Facebook Friday in February using all of this stuff. Um, so be looking forward to that, okay? Um, not available yet unless you're going to buy it in the starter kit. All right. I think that's it. Okay. How about a door prize? Door prize? prize. Yes. Susan. Susan, how do you say your last name? Susan Tabaknik. Thank you for sharing my video last week. You are the winner for the Eden's Garden bundle. And I didn't pick out a prize for this week. Let me see if I have something I can just grab right here. I believe I do. Um, oh, I know what we can do. Okay, hold on, hold on. I have two... Um, Susan, email me because I do not believe I have your mailing address, so I can send you that. How about two Days to Remember stamp sets? If you would like to win a Days to Remember stamp set, which is a really cool stamp set, all you have to do is share either on Facebook or YouTube, um, comment that you've shared. I'll put you in the drawing next week, and I'll pick two people next week. Next week's Facebook Friday is going to be the um, Driving By stamp set, from also from Celebration. I love that stamp set, too. So cute. Okay, we are done. I've cleared the table for the most part. Um, if you have not joined me for Facebook Friday before, welcome. We're glad you're here. Has anybody tested my links today? Surely they're all correct. <coughs> um, you can find all details on all three projects over there pinkbuckaroo.com. At the bottom, there is um, a little logo where you can click. It'll take you to this free PDF. It has all the supplies as well as the measurements and um, links to those things that I just talked about, some of them. Um, if you would like the projects today, if you'd like me to send them to you for free, you can get them. They come like this. You will need the Awesome Otter stamp set, obviously, 
I won't send any stamped images, so you will always need whatever stamps I'm using um, or something you can substitute. I will do some die cutting for you because this stamp set doesn't have any dies with it. So there's a lot of die cuts into these projects. But I'll send it to you next week for free. Um, your order minimum is $35, and uh, it has to be in by Monday at midnight. Um, let's see what else do I need to tell you. I cut and pack them on Tuesdays, mail them on Wednesdays, and they're free as a thank you to me. Oh, the, the most important part is, let me flip this down. You got to use the host code, okay? Please use that host code. If you don't use that host code, I assume you don't want the make and takes and I don't send them to you. Unless your order is over $150, that's when you start earning stamp and rewards. And I want you to earn stamp and rewards, so don't use the host code. Uh, stamp and Rewards, if I can find my catalog, I'll show you. Stamp and Rewards, you, everybody earns Stamp and Rewards when your order reaches $150. Here are the details in the back of the catalog. So if your order is $150, you're going to get 10%, which means you'll get $15 in free stuff. Don't use the host code, so you'll get that, and I will still send you these for free, Okay. But if your order is under $150, please use the host code. That's the only way I will know that you want the projects. All right? Okay. That is that. Let's get started. Let's move all this out of the way. So I have a house full of people right now, and I have warned them all within an inch of their life if they come out of their room and make noise, <laughs> they will be in trouble, including my husband. No, I'm just kidding. Kind of. You know. When mom is sick, things don't stop. But when everybody else is sick, it's very dramatic. <laughs> Nobody's super sick, so it's okay. All right, let's get started. Let me see if I missed anything that you guys said. Hello, everybody. So glad you're here. Um, you can't catch my germs through Facebook Live, I promise. <laughs> and even when I send you your Facebook Friday projects, I even Googled it. Germs will not live on the surfaces for very long, right? It's airborne, so you don't even have to worry about that. I know. When, we, when COVID first started, we all worried about that, right? When we started getting grocery delivery, do we need to worry about getting germs from our groceries? Well, science tells us you do not. All right. The things that we talk about. Let's get started. Man, thirsty. I should like do some singing warm ups before um, Facebook Live. You know, like the singers do <laughs> to get me ready. I don't know if you guys remember when that Valentine set came out. Either I think it must have been two years ago, right? Um, it was so cute. I made a little. We had those sweet treat cups that had the lids, and I made one with the otter on it. And it was so cute, and it was blue like this, and it sticks out in my memory. It's one of my favorite projects that I've made. So I kind of went with that idea when I made this card, okay? Um, we're gonna stamp him um, and color him. I'm using cinnamon cider on all of the otters today. Um, we're gonna stamp him both on white and on uh, balmy blue. That's the blue that I went with. I'm gonna show you how I did that. It looks like I stamped it on the blue and colored it, but I did not. We're gonna do paper piecing. All right, and then you'll see I've got lots of little, lots of little embellishments. I mean, not official embellishments, dies. They're so cute. All right, let's get started. Let's do our coloring, our stamping first. I have two pieces of paper, right? So we have balmy blue and basic white. And I'm going to stamp him on the balmy blue like this. And that's all I'm going to do. Ooh, he looks a little off-centered, but that's okay. Now, over here, I'm going to stamp him on just a piece of basic white. And we're going to color him. Now, you guys see how there's these ripple lines and he's got like little hairs sticking out? That's why you want to stamp it on here first. Because when we cut it out and we put it on here, you're going to still be able to see those details. You don't have to cut those details out. All right? Okay. So, light cinnamon cider. Let's see, make sure I have light. Light cinnamon cider, and I'm gonna use my bullet end 
and just go all the way around. I decided to leave his tummy just white. I've seen um, lots of different combos online. Where you guys live, do you have otters? Um, the only otters I know of are at SeaWorld. <laughs> but I know that there are like otters, like freshwater otters up north, right? Or am I just, am I just making that up? Um, the next card, we're gonna have an under the sea otter, and I know that's probably not very realistic, but whatever. It doesn't have to be realistic, right? Um, by the way, last week, remember when Charlie was in and out, in and out, in and out? Yeah, he did leave me a lovely, lovely little surprise. <sighs> Man, I should have, I should have taken that as a heads up of what was coming for this week. <laughs> I should have taken that as a sign. That was the beginning of the week, beginning of the, the weird, crazy weirdness. All right, so now I'm taking my dark and I'm going around his belly like that and like that. And then I'm gonna take, I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch over to that brush end. Ah, oh, my lid won't go on. Um, by the way, I know that it's kind of far away from the camera. Um, I have clean YouTube recordings of all of these videos that should be live right now. Um, and I zoom in so you can see a little bit closer on the coloring because I know sometimes you want to see exactly how I've colored something. So um, you can look for that on YouTube. They should also be linked under um, each photo today um, on my blog. Yeah, thanks, Charlie. I know. he. Uh, something had been happening with him since New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve scared him so bad that he was having <laughs> issues, tummy issues. Um, and it was, it was hanging around, hanging around. Uh, fun times. Dogs and kids. All right, now, take your paper snips. And I usually tell you guys, to leave a white cloud around it. Don't do that this time. Stay right on that black line. Don't let any white show. And I'm almost even on the inside of that, of that black line because we're gonna lay him down in the other stamped image. And that black line there is going to serve as the edge of our image. Okay, his little ears are the only tricky part. Just hold it. Hold the paper with your opposite hand. Now, those of you that are left-handed, I'm not sure, does that, can you turn the paper? I know it, I had a friend who was left-handed and when we taught and she would always get, get on to me about, it's not the same, cutting with left hand is not the same as the right. So I, I apologize to all my left-handed friends here. Um, but if you're right-handed like me, you turn the paper um, with the opposite hand. I remember she used to do something like, I don't know, it was strange. I don't know. Very different. Okay, so see how I've put him down in, oops, I put too much glue. I squished some glue out. Don't put so much glue, okay? So see, now you we've laid him on there. We've got the ripple line, we've got everything, and it looks like we colored him on there. Isn't he so cute? You know what, I needed to do his nose whoa 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 i need to do his nose like that oh i just love him so cute i love all the critters all right so now let's do the background we're going to use the gentle waves stamp this is a new background stamp in our spring catalog and i have it here on my stamparatus i'm going to take okay here's my here's my problem with this stamp so it looks like the water's going out this way, right? Like it's ebbing and flowing this way. Well, it's, I need it this way <laughs> and that's not right. So we're gonna stamp it twice so that it is going the right direction. That just bugs me, I don't know. I feel like it should be different. I guess if you're doing your card long ways then it works, but it doesn't work if you're doing your card this way. All right, so I've got my grid paper. I stamped it so I could see where I needed to put my card. And I'm gonna ink it up. 
Lisa, they used to make left-handed scissors. Do they not anymore? I guess they're all the same, huh? I'm thinking about that now. You're, yeah, I guess you'd probably have to special order those, huh? Because you don't just find them in the store. I didn't even think about that. When I taught kindergarten, it was difficult teaching kids who would come in that were left hand dominant, teaching them how to use scissors it is, is hard. Okay. So see how I did that. Now I'm going to take this. Whoa. Do not go together. And I'm going to line that up right there. I'm going to try to put this bottom edge right here with that bottom edge right there. It doesn't have to be perfect because we are pretty much covering up the whole thing. Um, so don't worry if it's, you know, if it overlaps a little bit, makes a line, it's okay. Did I, I totally hate <laughs> the wrong side. Okay, let's try that again. Okay. <clears throat> there we go, like that. So as you can see the line, you know, if I was gonna have something simple there, that probably would bother me, but it's not gonna bother me because we're gonna cover it up. Now, one thing, one other thing I'm gonna do that is really kind of probably overkill. You probably don't need to do this, but I thought I'd show you. Um, we're using the In Good Taste designer series paper, the wood grain. I took two uh, rectangles and I made a frame. Um, the browns in this aren't necessarily our browns. You know, I'm always bragging about Stampin' Up! how our colors all are matchy, matchy, matchy. Well, this because this is actual wood grain photo, it may be not necessarily our browns. So what you can do is take whatever brown you want it to, to match up with, you know, to coordinate. You can just kind of take a blending brush and that brown, which is cinnamon cider. And I'm just gonna add lightly some cinnamon cider to the paper to give it that, that tone to match. Now, do you have to do this? No. It would probably be just fine if I didn't do that. But I thought, you know, hey, let's let's do it. Let's do it for fun. All right, this is a fence. This little fence is from the new Horizon dies from the spring catalog. So is the grass. All right. Let's move that out of the way. And now let's put it all together. We've got, oh, his little tail's curling up. Um, we've got this and this, and I'm gonna take my, I've got a little bit of a foam adhesive sheet left, and I'm gonna cut four long strips, okay? And we're gonna put this on the back of here. How many of you have chosen Awesome Otters as your free celebration item? Raise your hand. Give me some hearts if you already have awesome otters. I forget about the, the emojis. Um, I think my very favorite is that rainbow paper. I think this is probably my second favorite. And then my third favorite we're doing next week, the driving by stamp set. All right, so I made my balmy blue paper just a tiny bit. No, 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 not yet, not yet. Oh, don't do it, don't do it. I made it just a tiny bit bigger than the rectangle. Oh my gosh, come on. Why is it so hard? Lots of you have it. I see lots of hearts. Oh my gosh. Okay, maybe the fifth time is the charm. Let's try it. Nope. I'm overthinking it. Just lay it down. Now it's off centered. Okay. Everybody hold your breath. Here we go. There we go. That's it. Seventh time's a charm. <laughs> okay. There. Now, take your fence and just a little bit of Tombow right there. Okay. We've got some granny apple green grass. Which way do I want it to go? What do I have on here? Okay, I have it like that. Granny Apple, also from the Horizon dies. I love a good grass dye. You can use a grass dye on a lot of projects. Now, I also have these two little fish. These, we have fish in several die sets, I realized. Um, these are from the Sea Life dies in the annual catalog. I think our new little 
ocean themed bundle um, in the spring catalog also has fish, I think. So we have a little fish bundle there and then to match the pumpkin pie fish that he is holding. And then we got to tie it to the fence with some linen thread. Okay, little mini glue dot. Right there, we've got a fish hanging on the fence. And I have cut out a, this is from the message die, the large message die. And we're gonna see if I can stamp this on here straight. Typically, you want to stamp and then die cut. Yep, it's crooked. Oh, I don't like the backside. It's like messy. All right, well, we're going with it. Um, you want to stamp and then die cut. That way you have more control over it and it won't be crooked. But for the sake of the video, I try to do a lot of things ahead of time. All right, so we're going to put that there and then we'll bring this over. And we're just going to adhere it to our card front. And... We are done. Isn't he the cutest? You are utterly awesome. I love that saying. So many reasons. This would be a great kid card, you guys, right? How, how many of you send kid uh, cards to your grandkids? I know I hear a lot of you telling me that you do. This is perfect for that. Perfect. Okay, so we use the Gentle Wave stamp set. Here are these dies. This is the Sea Life dies. Here are the Horizon dies. I really, really like these dies because this fence, it like looks, you know, see how it's perspective? It looks like it goes back that way. Or you could do it like that. I don't know. I really like them. Really like them. Okay, good. Glad you like it. Let me move this out of the way. <coughs> And we'll do our next card. Our next card, you know, when I have to label my videos, when I have to give them a title, sometimes it's really difficult because I just want to name them these. I mean, these were all, you know, similar. Awesome Otters card. <laughs> awesome Otters card too. So what I did with this next one, because I thought it was funny, I titled it... Under the sea with awesome otters or something like that. <laughs> because we're going to put him under the sea. How cute is he? Um, kind of reminds me of Ariel, right? Um, and I went with Blushing Bright. Instead of blues this time, I thought, let's, let's do pinks. Because, you know, we don't get enough opportunity to use pinks, in my opinion. And we're going to use that marvelous, simply marvelous, paper. You know, who? what's that guy's name? Billy Crystal. I could just hear him saying that. Do you guys remember? Marvelous. Um, except he said marvelous. That's what it sounds like to me. All right. So if you haven't looked at that paper and I should have pulled that paper pack out. Let me see if I have it right here quickly to hand to you. I do. Okay. So this is another celebration choice you can do for, um, for free. Um, it has this marbled paper, and it's, I think, was it four colors? Five? No, one, two, three, four, five, six. And so we've got pinks, yellows, I don't know what are they. Balmy blue, basic gray, blushing bright, bumblebee. There's a lot of colors. I'm not going to read them all to you. Isn't that pretty? Okay. So that's another option you can get for celebration. And I need to cut it down. I need to get my trimmer. I don't know why I didn't cut it down. All right, we're going to cut it down to, I'm going to put it, I'm just going to cut it bigger than I need it. Um, look, my thing is missing. I wonder where it went. We'll just do four and then we'll trim it around our white piece. All right, we'll do that in a second. Actually, let's go ahead and do it. I'm going to tear it kind of diagonally like this. Okay, and then we're going to put it on there like this. All right, but before we do that, let's add some stamps to our white piece. I am using, I pulled from two stamp sets. We're using Friends Are Like Seashells. Um, we're using 
we're using a lot from that stamp set, but we're, I'm using the hearts from Turtle Friends, and I'm using this little grunge, <coughs> this little grungy, um, and the bubbles from Seascape. This matches the dies we used in the last project. So it's a good bundle to have. All right, so we're gonna take our bubbles, and I want them to be real light, so I'm gonna stamp off each time before I stamp them. I can hear Pepper, she wants to get out. She's in the bedroom with my husband. She's crying. She's going to come in here and say, where's my cookie? You're doing Facebook Live. You give me a cookie every time you do Facebook Live. All right, and now the hearts. I'm stamping off with these as well. Blushing Bride is a weird pink. Um, it's not pinky. Like, it's it's a, a brown or pink. I mean, if you have Blushing Bride, you know what I'm talking about. But I find if I stamp it off, I like it a whole lot um, more than I like it if I don't. All right, now, here's this is from that Friends Are Like Seashells. We're going to stamp that right here in Cinnamon Cider. Friends Are Like Seashells. You collect them along the way. Isn't that sweet? Now, we're going to take these two. Actually, we need to emboss these before we put these on here. I wanted to add a little more texture. So, let me bring this guy over. We're going to run these through. Do you ever think about running your designer series paper through your cut and emboss machine? totally can. We need this. Hold on. Excuse me. Sorry for the reach. Um, so I'm just going to put these in here. If I can get it. Oh, come on. Can you guys hear? They're doing the lawn next door. Of course. They were like, oh, she's doing Facebook Live. It's time to do the yard work. <sighs> All right. Run it through. This is the Tasteful Textiles embossing folder. Okay, let's look at it. So it just added, you know, it kind of looks like textured cardstock. Okay, so now we will put this one first. Like that. Oh, yeah, it seems a little bit far over. Let's go over a little bit more. Like that. And... Then we'll put this one overlapping like that, okay? So now, with your trimmer or your scissors or whatever, just cut it off to match your paper. I should use a trimmer, but I'm not. Like that, okay? All right, now we're gonna make all the little things to go with our little guy. I have cut out a couple of things ahead of time. We have two, these look like aloe vera plants. They are from the um, succulent, potted succulent dyes, um, soft sea foam. And then this is the layering diorama dyes. Oh, I have them right here to show you. These are so fun. So it's the smallest one of that. We're going to use these dyes in a second to cut out some seashells. And then there's that from the potted succulents. So we're going to stamp our guy, our cute otter. Did I see Donna here? Donna is a lot of fussy cutting today. I know. Donna, does not. she's not a fan of the fussy cutting. I actually need another piece of cardstock. Let's get this one right here. And we're going to stamp these. This is from the... Um, it's Friends were like seashell stamp set. We're going to stamp it in cinnamon cider on basic white, and then I'm going to stamp it again. So, ooh, that didn't do very well. You know what? We can we can work with it. We can work with it. I wanted it to be dark and light. Um, and I'm not going to color those. I'm just going to take my blender pen, and I'm going to color it in like this. Blender pen has a clear solvent in it. You can use it kind of to watercolor. Um, but if you run it over your stamped images, it will pull the color that's already in your stamped image into your, your image so that it's just lighter. All right, so there are those. And then we will do the same thing. Now the neighbor boy has his brand new dog and they are literally 20 feet outside my window. <laughs> It's, why is that not going on? I don't know, suddenly that's not fitting on there. 
Hmm, that's weird. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing here, and I think I'm just gonna do it real quick. Um, I will color him the exact same way. Is this dark? Oh no, this is light. For some reason, suddenly it felt like it was the dark. I'm gonna color him in the light. Go give him a shadow of the dark. The neighbors next door got a new puppy. And, you know, I've told you guys we live in a cul-de-sac, so their house is so close to ours because we're on, like, the curve, you know. And uh, they got a Rottweiler puppy, which makes me nervous. I don't know if any of you have a Rottweiler. I know, yes, they can be sweet, but they also can be not sweet. And that makes me nervous. But what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? All right, I'm not going to do any shading on him, simply for the sake of time. I will color in his nose. All right, now fussy cutting all the way around. Cut off all that excess cardstock. It will make it much easier. And this time, I am just going to cut those hairs off. I don't care. He doesn't need those. And I am going to stay on the outside of him. I'm going to leave him with a white border like this all the way around all right are you guys are you guys telling me about i know if i i get i said something ugly about a dog breed i'm gonna hear it i'm gonna hear it from some of you but you can't you can't say i don't like dogs you guys know i do it's just Having neighbors so close is hard, especially when you are trying to have a Facebook Live. Don't they understand that they all need to go into their room? <laughs> oh, and he drags his trash cans up right here next to the house. It's super loud. Yada, yada, yada. You guys know. You know how it goes. All right. Now, I'm going to use my mini for this. Let's get the matching dies right here. I should have cut out a fork. Do we have a fork? I think we do, something like a fork. Then it would really be like Ariel. Remember Ariel? She collected, what what, what do you call it? What Whatchamacallits and thingamabobs and she brushed her hair with a fork. It's been a long time since I've seen that movie. But that's what I keep thinking of when I do this card. All right, uh-oh, okay. Now, I know that that starfish didn't stamp right. It's going to be okay because most of it's going to be tucked in behind our little guy. Look what I got. I finally ordered a magnetic bowl. Finally. I have some other things, but they weren't working well enough for me. Some of you have gifted me some lovely magnetic things, but I was still having issues. And that one is really, really strong. You can also put your scissors in it. All right grid paper one more time our little rock here is in crumb cake and we will stamp the little grungy part on it like that give it some texture <coughs> um carla our new house is not has not started we are at the mercy of the builder and the hoa we are currently trying to get the HOA to approve our house plan. Um, they have a weird rule in their neighborhood that you can only have side-facing garages. Um, and our house has a front-facing garage, although my little casita office will be covering it. You won't be able to see it. So we're working on that. It is taking forever, of course. Everything is taking forever right now. I'm trying to be patient. Um, I'm just going to, where are my regular dimensionals? Trying to be patient. God is in control. He will take care of it. And I'm not going to force it to happen. <laughs> but yeah, we're about ready to find a new builder. And a new, I don't know, the builder seems to be taking forever to work with the HOA. And the HOA is taking forever. They won't decide, blah, 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 all that. You know, building a house is never easy or fun. Okay, let's take this little guy, the one that I didn't stamp well, and we're going to stick him back here like that. And then we're going to take this one, and we're going to stick this one back here like that. 
And then we're going to do, let's see, we'll do, do we have many dimensionals? We do. Um, yeah, Ethel, I know. I hear that. My friend Ange, I believe she had a Rottweiler too. I know, but you hear scary things too. And I have little dogs, you know, I don't know. It just scares me. I know it'll be fine. I know. I know, I know, I know, I know. It'll be fine, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. I just like to, I like to find things to worry about. Are any of you like that? Like, what could I worry about today? It's a fun gift that I was born with. <laughs> All right, now, have you guys seen these pebbles? Look at them, how cute. They look like real pebbles. So we're gonna take these, and we're gonna put a couple of these, if I can get it off and make my silly putty behave. All right, maybe I need a little more sticky. All right, we'll take that one, we'll put that there, and we're gonna get that long one, and put that right there. So see, now we have those little sea rocks, sea pebbles, aren't they so cute? Okay, now, side fold on this card, because we're gonna tie, the linen thread around the seam of our card. Okay, look how different he looks. See there I did the shading and there I didn't do the shading. Very different, very different indeed. Okay, linen thread again, linen thread around the seam of our card, finish with a bow up in the corner and we're done. Um, now, if you don't have the sea sh Friends Are Like Seashell stamp set, you could substitute any sentiment. You could, you know, leave the seashells off, whatever. You can make it work even if you don't have all of the same stamp sets that I have. What do you guys think? So cute. I love that card. I like the color scheme too. Um, cinnamon Cider, Soft Sea Foam, and Blushing Bride. It's a fun color combo. Okay, one more to go. And then we're done. Uh oh, I just knocked my iPad down. Um, yeah, Lisa, that's, that's what I worry about. I know, I know. But you know, I guess those things can happen anywhere with any kind of big dog and little dog, cat. And we'll just... Give it, give it to God and let it go. That, that's my, that needs to be my like tattoo. I need to have that tattoo. Okay, last but not least, <coughs> we're gonna do a 3D. And this is a really simple 3D. It is a um, little matchbook. See like that, it goes in like that. And inside are these individually wrapped Swedish fish. Um, I have found these at, um, Five below. Um, there's also a can candy company. Let me make sure I give you the right name that I ordered from this week called Old Time Candy. And they have a lot of individual candies and they were really quick to ship. Um, I was looking for some, well, I'm not gonna tell you, it's a surprise, um, for something to go with something. And I ended up ordering a lot of things from them. So anyway, um, that's what we're going to do. That's where I got those. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to do, I got to turn the fan on. Hold on. We need our Simply Scored, which is over here. And we need, I'm using Poppy Parade. And the measurements for this are right here. Thanks, Lisa. That's so sweet. Thank you, Catherine. You guys are sweet. Right here. The measurements right here on today's PDF. Okay. Two and a half by seven and a fourth. Um, we're going to score it at half an inch. Let me know if that camera starts to move because I turned that fan on kind of high. Half an inch and three and three fourths and four and a fourth, which I need to make sure I'm looking at it right, right there. These are really good. So like, I don't know, Sandy, you're here, right? Like for your kids, your grandkids, Valentine treats, something like you want to send to school. Um, this would be a really easy one to do. Now, we're going to staple these in. And the thing I always forget to do when I... I can't tell. Is that camera moving? 
it does look like it's moving. Let me turn the fan down. Um, one thing I always forget to do when I do these is I staple too high. And if you staple too high, this is not going to slide in. So you want to make sure you staple down low like that. Okay. So make sure your little Swedish fish is up at the top. Oh, look, he's coming out. <laughs> oh no. Good thing I have extras. All right. Right here. Swedish. I want the words to face the same way. Um, put that so that the little wrapper goes all the way to the bottom and then staple and slide it in like a matchbook. Okay. All right. Now the sentiment I'm using is from love and happiness. This is a new stamp set that has a coordinating, um, embossing folder and die set. And in the catalog, I think it's misleading because it says bouquet of Bouquet of Love, is that what it's called? Bouquet of Love Hybrid Embossing Folder, something like that. Uh, it doesn't say dies, but it has dies. And the dies is what I use to cut out the heart. Um, but I wanted to make this a Valentine's treat. So happy Valentine's Day, friend. I think that's a great sentiment for a class because the kids, you know, you know, they don't want it to say I love you or, you know, you're cute. Like that's, ooh, no, they don't want that. So having a, a standard friend, <laughs> um, Valentine is always good. All right. In my clean recording, if you go back and watch it, I made a mistake and I'll show you what I did. We're going to get the little swimming guy and we're going to stamp him down here towards the bottom like that. Memento black on a piece of balmy blue designer series paper from the Suttles DSP pack. Now we're also going to, we're going to do the same thing kind of like we did on the first project. Um, we're going to stamp it on white. And I stamped it too low, which it ended up being a problem. So your little piece of white, you want it to be um, the same width as your DSP. If you stamp it too low and then you try to match them up, what, I, what happened is I had a gap between my white paper and my DSP, which you don't want. So on your white piece, stamp it kind of high like that so that you have extra paper to work with and you can cut it off. Now... Did I put the blends? Here they are. We're going to color him once again in the exact same way. Luckily, we don't have, we just have a little head here to color. It won't take too long. Light cinnamon cider. What color are you guys using for your otters? Are you using crumb cake, soft suede? Um, what other colors would work? Um, now that we have all these skin tone colors. We could, you know, have lots of kind of brown tan choices. All right, I'm gonna take the dark. I didn't like that last one without that um, shading, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go the extra mile here and put a little bit of shading. Oh, his nose! Don't forget his nose. And then blend all of that color out towards the outside of him and his ear. Okay. Now I have balmy blue, and this time I'm going to use the brush end. Oh, ivory and bronze. Yes, very smart. All right. I always forget about the ivory and bronze because I never use those. Ivory and bronze would be great too. Now I'm going to color this whole piece down here with balmy blue light, okay? And I'm just going to go right here to this line. Do I want to go up a little bit higher? Maybe I will go up a little bit higher. Okay. And then I'm going to take my dark. I'm going to color. Oh, I didn't need to color that one. Color in those drops like that. Put a little bit of dark here under the waves like that. A little more light, I'm blending it all down together. Okay, now we're gonna just cut across the top, okay? So cut across that water line. And this time stay right on the black line again because we've stamped him on the DSP and all those little hairs and everything will be on the DSP.
go around like that, all right? Now, we're gonna adhere this right here. I need to add a little bit more white, or a little more balmy blue up here because we don't want any white paper edge showing there. I'm gonna put some adhesive on the back. I'm not gonna use my liquid this time. Use whatever adhesive you want. Match them up right there, okay? And then now you can trim this off, this white piece, so that it'll be the right size and it'll be all nice and straight. Like that, okay? So I'm gonna take my dark and add in some color there to those waves that are on the DSP like that. All right, now we're just gonna add this to a balmy blue mat. And we're gonna put this here on the front like this. Okay, I'm using that same shape. I didn't realize I used it twice. From the message dies, we're gonna use Happy Valentine's Day. Friend, <laughs> platonic friend. Don't worry, I don't like you. You are just my friend. And dimensionals right here. We will put one on the back of that. Poppy Parade Heart, cut from the Bouquet of Love Hybrid Bossing Folder Dies, whatever they're called, and put that there. And then we're gonna tuck that in right there. Now, down here, look what's making a return. My favorite ribbon. I will use it every chance I can. This was in the uh, fall catalog, but it is carrying over. It's still available online. You won't see it in the catalog right now, um, but it is online and you can still order it. Favorite ribbon ever. Okay, glue dot, a mini glue dot. Get that out, put that there, and done. Three out of how many, Sandy? 25, done. <laughs> if you're gonna make them and send them to school. I don't think those would take too long. And the little Swedish fish, cheap. I think they're like 10 cents. Super cheap. All right, we made it to the end. I'm gonna throw that guy away. I'm not sure about him. We made it to the end. Let's look. We've got the three of those, these, and these. Now remember, if you would like um, one of these, one of these, and one of these as a make and take sent to you, um, you can, I will send them to you for free as a thank you. Uh, make sure your order is in by Monday at midnight and you use this host code, minimum $35, although I don't know why you wouldn't bump it to 50 so you can get something for free, hello, right? Um, I will have a bonus project for you on Monday. It won't have a video, it's just a card. It's a case of um, Melanie Hyde's card that she did a while back. I totally cased it and uh, smacked a little otter in the middle and made it super cute. So look for the details on this on my blog on Monday, okay? All right, you guys, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Make sure you hop back, get the free PDF. Let me know what links you need to register, Valentine's class, subscribe to All Star Tutorial, all that. You guys, stay healthy. Have a great Martin Luther King Day if you're off on Monday. And I'll be back on Friday, hopefully, with my voice returned to normal. Thanks, you guys, for joining me. Bye.